Hey, I'm Jake. This is part two of the Cloud One Services tutorial series that I've been doing. In the first part, we looked at leaderboards, so if you haven't checked that out, you must check that out first because it is crucial for what we're gonna do in this tutorial. But today we're gonna be covering achievements. Now, I've made this tutorial extremely simple, so it's gonna be a breeze, and you guys should be up with achievements and leaderboards in no time. But before we get into that, if you guys could go and subscribe to the channel and leave a big thumbs up on this video, it would mean the world to me. So since the last tutorial, all that I've done is I've upgraded Unity to 2019.4.8 F1 specifically, and I've also updated the Cloud One Services package to version 2.7.1. Now, when I updated that, if any of you are gonna update to these as well, a few things happened. On The main thing is on our Cloud One Services, it did remove this script, the initialized cloud once, so just make sure that that is still connected and you're going to want to make sure that only auto sign in is enabled. Disable cloud save enabled and disable auto cloud load. The only other thing that I've done, if we were to go over to the game over scene, is I've added an achievements button. Currently, if we go and select it, you can see that it doesn't do anything and it has no functionality, but it is a UI button. That is an important step. It will not work unless it's an actual UI button. So just keep that in mind. From here, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create some achievements. And to do that, you're gonna go up to Window, Cloud Once, and click on the editor. In the editor, just make sure you're in the Cloud IDs tab, and we're just gonna wanna add an achievement ID. So for this tutorial, we're gonna create three achievements, one for tapping the square 20 times within 10 seconds, one for tapping it 60 times in 10 seconds, and one for tapping it 100 times in 10 seconds. For my first one, it'll be tap square 20. And then we're gonna create two more, and it's gonna be tap square 60, and tap square 100. But now we need to go over to Apple's and Google's end and create some achievements and then link them together. So let's go do that. So in the Google Play Console, just like last time, we're in the game services. You can make sure, um, make sure that you're in the Google Play Console and then you're in game services. And then this time, instead of going to the leaderboard section, we've already filled out everything else. We wanna go to the achievements section. So go to the achievements section and we're gonna just add a new achievement. So once you hit to create the achievement, it's gonna come up with this and we're just gonna give it a name. So we're gonna call this, um, because this achievement is if you tap the square 20 times. So we're just gonna say exactly that, tap the square, can't type, 20 times. Coming down here, you can see the description um, and it says that it's optional for testing. So we're, I'm not gonna worry about that for me, but you guys can do that if you want. I'm just going to paste that. Next, you wanna come down to the icon and we just, and it's a 512 by 512 PNG or JPEG image. So I just put in an image. You would wanna create one that's more unique to it. Um, to, it's a little fun thing to see the little icon next to it. So I would recommend putting one in. Next, you wanna come down to where it says points and they recommend, if you come over here, they recommend that you give five points for easy, 20 points for medium, and 50 points for hard. So 20, tapping the square 20 times is extremely easy, so we're just gonna leave it at five. And then this is the list order, this is the easiest one, so it's gonna be a number one in the slot. So that's all good, so we are just gonna say save. So now that it's saved, you can actually just jump back in, and up here at the top, you can grab this number, excluding the hyphen. And then if we were to go back to Unity, and we can paste it in the game services. Let's go back, let's add a new achievement. This one is gonna be tapped the square 60 times. And then coming down to the points, because this one's a little bit harder, we're gonna give this a 20. It's not really that hard, but whatever. So let's hit save. And then we're gonna click back into it and copy the value, excluding the dash in front. And then paste it into the Cloud One Services and then come back for the final one. And then we're gonna call it tap the square 100 times down here for points. This one's the hardest one, so let's just add 50 points. So let's save it, click back into it, grab the number at the top, and paste it into our editor. Okay, so now that we have everything handled on Google's end, let's jump over to the App Store Connect. 
So in the App Store Connect, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that you've selected your application that we want to put achievements on. And then we're going to go under the Features tab, and then you can see where we were last tutorial with our leaderboard, and we're just gonna to wanna to come over here to create an achievement. Let's click. So the first one we're gonna start with is the Tap the Square 20 times. So we're gonna just put that up as the name, Tapped the Square. So for the achievement ID, we want to create a unique string that will differentiate these achievements from any achievements that we're going to be putting into any other apps from here on out. So now for the point value, it's the exact same as it was on Google, and for 20, we want it to be about five points. Hidden, no. Achievable more than once, no, definitely not. And then we want to add a language. And for me, I speak English. And this is what the user is going to see. So let's make this nice. <laughs> Tap the square 20 times. You have to add in a pre-earned description and an earned description. So this means you need to tap the square 20 times before the timer runs out. That's a pretty easy description. And then after you've earned it, you tap the square 20 times before the timer ran out. And hit save. And now that that's in, we can hit save on this. Okay, so now you just wanna grab this achievement ID and bring it back in, put it in the top one. And now let's basically just do the same thing two more times. Tapped. 60 times and then as the point value goes this is 20 is it hidden no achieve more than once no add a language we want to choose English for me the title is tapped the square oh yeah this is 60 times and save that and hit save and just copy your achievement ID paste it in here Go back for one more. Tap the square 100 times. Then the point value is 50. No, no. Add a language, it is English. Tap the square 100 times. And hit save. And hit save. Whew. Okay, so let's grab that ID and then paste it in here and now that we have that final ID in here we can save the configuration okay now that it's done we are done with the editor so you can exit out of that but now we need to actually go back to App Store Connect real quick just for one thing so here in App Store Connect before you would submit you want to go to your app page so let's go to the App Store okay so for you Game Center probably wasn't checked so just make sure you check it and then add your leaderboard if you hadn't done that already and then here under achievements you just want to add in the achievements that we just created so, so just select all three of those and then just hit done. Okay, so back in Unity, what we're gonna wanna do, if you recall from the last tutorial, we created a, on Cloud One Services, we have a script that we made called Cloud One Services. We're gonna wanna go and we're gonna edit that a little bit. So what we're gonna do in the Cloud One Services now is we're gonna add a couple methods that are going to unlock the achievements. So let's do that by creating a public method because we are going to reference this from another script in a little bit. But first we're gonna create a public void and we're gonna, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it award tap 20 square is what I'm gonna call mine just because that is, um, because I tapped the square 20 times. So you're gonna be able to do that. We're gonna create an if statement. And in this if statement, we're gonna call achievements and then we're gonna look at the tap, for me specifically, it'd be tap the square 20 times is what we're looking at right now. And we're just gonna to wanna to check if it is unlocked. Because if it's already been unlocked, you don't wanna call the function for unlocking it again. So then we would just wanna return out of this method if that was the case, but it's not the case. If it wasn't the case, then we wanna do the actual code to unlock the achievement. And that's actually really easy. You just go achievements, dot and then reference your um, achievement that you want which in this case is tap the square 20 and then dot unlock and that's a method and we just close it out 
It's literally that simple. I'm not even kidding. And then so for me, I'm all of my achievements are fairly similar. So I'm just gonna copy them and then I'm just gonna change it to from 20 to 60 on all of these lines of code. And then over here it'd be 100. I didn't know how to do that. 100 and 100. And that is everything we're gonna need to do within the actual Cloud One Services script. It's extremely easy. I <laughs> mean, extremely easy. But there's no way for this to ever get called because we don't have it actually accessible in the game loop. So let's do that. So for my game specifically, it's all about pressing that square, you know, tapping that square. And so every time the square is tapped, I have a script that references this method. And all it does is it increments, uh, it increments the score by one. And this is a perfect place for it to happen. And you want, where you want your achievements to unlock is during your game loop. So while they're actively playing the game, because it's gonna drop down a notification at the top that you got the achievement. And you don't wanna do that all at the end. Um, so you wouldn't want to do like a for loop at the end of your game loop after you got a game over that checks all of these things because then you would just get a lot of notifications all at once or they wouldn't all display correctly and it would just skip some of them and only show one of them, which would be a very bad thing. Um, just don't do that. You would want to increment them as they occur in your actual game loop. So for here, after we update the score, we just want to run a few checks. So for me specifically, and this one really won't pertain to you, but I'm just gonna show you how I implemented it so you guys can implement it too. So for mine, once the score reaches 20, we wanna award the achievement, right? For tapping the score 20 times. And that's very simple to do. So all we need to do is check if save data dot score is greater than, no, actually not greater than, don't do that is equal to 20, because I believe it's an integer. So it will do that just fine. So if it equals to 20, then we would just want to reference our cloud one services, and then we're going to reference the instance of that class, and we are going to award the 20 reward. That simple, okay? <laughs> And because mine are pretty similar, we're just going to do that two more times, but for the different values. So if we come up here, if score equals 60, then we want to reward the 60. And if it's 100, we want to reward the 100. And that's it. That's all the code that we're going to be putting into this to get achievements. It is so freaking simple, I cannot even freaking handle how simple this is. But we're not done yet. We gotta jump back into the Unity Editor, so I'll see you guys there in a second. So we've, we already have the initialized the cloud once, but now if we were to go over to our Achievements button, it doesn't do anything because there's nothing on it. So if we go over to our Achievements button, it doesn't have any scripts, and just like the last tutorial, I bet all of you can figure out where we're going with this, we're just going to take a script from the Asset Cloud Once services that we downloaded earlier called Achievements or Show Achievements button. You don't have to do anything else, you just put it on the button and everything should be good. Everything should be set up at this point and I'm going to test it on the actual device and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so jumping back into it, let's see if it'll automatically sign me in. Okay, so it automatically signed me in, which is a great sign. And now if we were to tap on the square, um, we should be able to get some achievements. So we just want to hit it 20 times. So I'm going to try and hit it 21 times. So let's see if I can get that to that. Okay, so you saw that. When I got to 21, it came up with the achievements unlocked and it, uh, and it gave me my reward. So now if we were to click on this achievements button, it comes up here, you can see the achievements. I've unlocked the 20 times. The next one to unlock is the 60 times and the other one is 100. So if we go back down, we can go back. Let's try and get 60 this time. So I'm just actually gonna do this for real. <laughs> this game is the worst. <laughs> oh shoot, I don't think I got it. 
Oh, I, I barely got it. Okay, I got 62. <laughs> okay, so, alright, alright. So if we go and check it out, I've got two of them. And now let's see if I can get the final one. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put this down and use a little strat, a two finger thing. So here we go. I'm gonna hit, we have to try and get to 100 taps within 10 seconds. So here we go. Holy crap, this is hard. I think I did. I think I, yes. <laughs> I got 101. <laughs> That's perfect, that's perfect. And now if you were to go to the achievements, you can see that I've gotten all of the achievements. So, that's great. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and I hope you guys found it very interesting and it was able to help you achieve not only achievements, but leaderboards as well. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys would consider subscribing, it would mean a lot to me. And if not, you guys can always leave a big thumbs up on the video as well. And I'd just like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.